So in the previous tutorial, we covered the short run profit and loss scenario in perfect competition. In this tutorial, we will specifically cover the long run scenario where firms make zero economic profit. So before jumping on to the long run scenario where firms make zero economic profit and still they choose to be into business, it's important you know the distinction between accounting and economic profit. So the formula is same. Everyone computes profit from this formula, total revenue minus total cost. You are aware that total revenue, it's the amount firms receive by sale of its output, whereas total cost, it's the market value of inputs a firm uses in production. So when an accountant calculates profit, the formula, as I mentioned, is same. It's total revenue minus total cost, but the distinction arises as in what cost do they include into total cost? So in total cost, accountant only adds explicit cost, as in they only consider out-of-pocket expenses into total cost. For example, we know every business has some explicit cost, like out-of-pocket cost, which they normally pay. Let's say if it's a restaurant, they would pay the price of hiring a labor and manager salary, paying rent, buying inputs, etc. So that's cash outflow and it's clearly depicted in firm's accounting records. So when accountant calculates profit, they just look at explicit cost in total cost. Whereas we, econ we economists, we compute profit with some difference. As I mentioned, the formula is same, but in total cost, we sum up explicit and implicit cost. That's because we say that explicit cost is not the only type of cost. There is also a cost that is opportunity cost and we assume opportunity cost as implicit costs here. So you're aware what opportunity cost is. It's the value of next best alternative. So how do we calculate implicit cost? Remember, implicit costs, they do not require any cash outlay of money by the firms. For example, let's say to start a business, you invested some money into it. So you could have been, you know, invested that money into a stock or maybe you might have bought shares of a company, but you choose to invest that money into a business. That would be your implicit cost or opportunity cost. Apart from that, maybe you were working as an employee in some organization and receiving per month salary. So you also gave up that salary, that job to invest time into your business. That time, that salary is also regarded as implicit cost. So remember, an economist adds implicit and explicit cost into total cost. And that's how an accounting profit will always be greater than economic profit. So firms in long run scenario, they make zero economic profit. Still, they choose to be in business because zero economic profit is equal to positive accounting profit, which is a normal profit because their implicit and explicit costs are being covered. That's why firms choose to be in business. So you have a profit scenario in front of you. This is a short run profit case. We also say that firms are earning economic profit or positive economic profit. But what happens in long run? As you know, in long run, everyone has more time to react to changes. So in long run, firms either enter or exit the market. And finally, the firms in the market make zero economic profit. So as you're aware that profit 
is an incentive for new entrants into the market where our losses is an incentive for weaker firms to exit the market but what do we have here so as the firms see that a particular market and the firms are making profit so this would incentivize them to enter this particular market so when you have more entrants in a market it means you have more suppliers more suppliers mean that your supply curve will shift towards right so when the supply curve moves to right your market equilibrium point changes so at this new point you notice there is a decrease in market price from 10 to 6 and there is an increase in quantity supplied that is because the product is in abundance because there are a lot of sellers but now you notice that you cannot make positive economic profit because you are an individual firm in competitive market and remember in competitive market you are not a price maker you are only a price taker so you have to opt the price given by the market which is dollar six but what happens if you choose not to follow up that definitely in competitive market there are numerous number of buyers and sellers so you will lose your customers they can purchase the same commodity of same quality from any other supplier so that's why you will decrease your price to dollar six and at dollar six you notice your average total cost is exactly equal to the price so you're not making positive economic profit rather you're making zero economic profit but again you know why firms choose to stay in zero economic profit that's because their implicit and explicit costs are being covered so there is no incentive for you to leave the market whereas you will produce less quantity because at a new point where marginal revenue cuts the marginal cost curve it's below the previous point